I'm Bob Bird Carlson, the Storm Chaser, uh, showing my uh, Mercy aerial video platform here. This is a uh, electric helicopter. Uh, the helicopter is about $1,200. It carries a um, gyro stabilized, independently controlled uh, HD camera rig underneath it. And in the air, these, these green skids flip up out of the way. And you have full 360 rotation, uh, 180 degree tilt. It's, uh, you can see in the back there, it's got a zoom control. So you can pan, tilt, and zoom the camera. The, uh, the little box here, little box here on the side is a um, video transmitter. So I can uh, simultaneously transmit the video to the ground. Uh, live. And uh, I've actually got the cameraman wears wears a, a pair of video goggles and has a fanny pack. And uh, he's got his own setup, independent. Uh, he can walk wherever he wants to, control the camera. So he can see the camera in real time. Yeah, he's basically got a flying tripod. And I could, I could be across the street flying the helicopter, and he could be on the other side of the car uh, controlling the camera, totally independent from what I'm doing. So it really takes two operators. Two operators, okay. yeah. That's yep. pretty cool. Yeah. I could fly it so. just focused out the front. I've done that. Now you're telling me, me these aren't cheap. Yeah, we got got a uh, twelve hundred, fifteen hundred in the helicopter, two grand in the rig down here, five hundred dollar HD camera, and so four about four thousand up in the air when you're flying. And and how many of those have you crashed? I've never crashed one. Of these. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, I've got three of them. Knock on wood. Have you had one that scared you? You thought you were gonna lose it. Oh yeah, yeah. The the thing with these is um, you get them too far away from you, the um, you lose orientation sometimes. It looks like it's coming towards you, or and you think it's going away, and you make the wrong inputs, and it'll start diving some different direction, and and you just have to like focus in real quick and, and see the way it is, and then as soon as you see the way it is, then you can recover it. So what happens if you totally lose contact with it? Is it crash? Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> no no recovery. Yeah, no, it's gonna come down hard. <laughs> yeah. That's terrible. So now you get the string. Are you recording this somewhere else in case that does happen? I mean, like you don't lose your video. Um, yeah, oh yeah, the video is coming onto the laptop. Okay. And, and so live streamed and so being recorded. It got sucked out in the storm or something. You don't, don't lose what no, you did. No. Yeah, okay. it, you're, it's it's real time recording onto the laptop and live streaming and and. Uh, That's pretty cool. Yeah. There's, on this version of it, there's nothing recorded locally. It's all it's all broadcast. So how does this back. handle in the in the wind around the storms? It's not too bad. It's uh, these actually do better than um, the airplanes with the rotor speed. The rotor speed, you know, is generating a lot of its own high velocity wind. Right. And so it doesn't care if there's a small component coming through it. And and the cross section, you know, the wind will blow right through these open areas. The canopy will take a little bit of, of side blast, but um. What I found is like I've flown these in like the high Chinook winds around Denver, and they'll just you'll get hit with a wind blast. The wind will come up under the rotors and it'll lift up, so it'll like rise up and then sink back down. So it does pretty, pretty good. Cool. Does pretty good. So they're pretty stable then. Yeah. It's interesting. Yeah, it's all. Now you've been doing this a you while. Wow, you've got several, right? I've got three of these. Three sets. Just like this three one? Three setups, yeah. And then you've got some airplanes too, right? Yeah, and I got I got six That's of the planes. Oh, you got there? Show us the planes. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, so that little that little thing, how much did it actually cost to build that? Four grand. Four grand, huh? This so, is not your average talk hobby aircraft. No, no. Tell these, us about the plane now here. Now, these, these are expendable. These are maybe 500 bucks each total. 500 bucks, geez. But here's the thing. I recover everything after a tornado. A new fuselage is five dollars worth of foam, so I just build it into a new one mm -hmm. and go with the next one. That's pretty cool. So those are very lightweight. I guess you're holding it with one hand. Yeah, it's less than two pounds. And when you it's have fully names loaded. for all these, right? I'll bet you. Yeah. Get FAA yep. clearance but you you do, and you don't want to. <laughs> but yeah, so this, okay, these so are the wicked witches and. Both of the planes the, are the Wicked Witches? Yeah, and okay. they call the helicopters the Flying Monkeys. <laughs> okay. 